If you're planning on selling your Mac or just giving it to someone else, chances are you're probably gonna to wanna to erase your personal data on the machine and perform a full factory reset. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do just that. Now, if you're using a newer Mac, a Mac with Apple Silicon or a Mac with a T2 chip and you're on Mac OS Monterey or later, there's a very, very easy way to erase your Mac. And all you have to do is open up System Preferences and then you select System Preferences from the menu bar and then select erase all content and settings. You'll follow the prompts on your machine and then by a matter of minutes, your machine will be erased and restored back to factory settings. There's no need to go through that arduous process of wiping your hard drive and reinstalling Mac OS. Unfortunately, if you're not seeing that option, that means you probably have one of the older Macs that requires you to do it the old fashioned way like I just mentioned. But lucky for you is I'm gonna make it as painless as possible. Now, before you do anything, make sure you back up any files, iCloud settings, etc. That kind of goes for no matter what method you're doing, but you'll also want to sign out of iCloud and you can do this by just going into system preferences, tapping on your Apple ID at the top and then click on sign out. Next, you'll need to restart your Mac and you can do this by going to the Apple logo in the top left corner and select restart. Then hold down the command and R keys as soon as you hear the Mac tone indicating a reboot. You will need to wait until you see the Mac OS utility screen appear and then you're gonna wanna go over to disk utility. From here, select your Mac's hard drive and then click erase. The format option should either be Mac OS extended journaled or APFS. And once your drive is erased, then just go back to the utilities menu and select reinstall Mac OS. From here, you'll need to go through a few prompts. And then once everything is installed, your Mac will be back to factory settings. And that's it. If you ended up liking this video, if it was helpful for you getting your Mac restored back to factory settings, please hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe so other people could possibly find this video in the future and it can hopefully help them too. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.